Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Kamala Harris has finally spoken after that tragic debate last night. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you support Trump to be the next president of the United States, hit that join button and become a member of this channel. It's not often that a Democrat has trouble with the mainstream media, has complaints with the mainstream media. But last night, right after the debate, right after the disastrous performance of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris appeared on CNN and Anderson Cooper put it to her directly. Is it time for Joe Biden to step aside? And her answer was absolutely a meltdown on live television, screaming, yelling. Why? Well, because her fortunes are tied to, to Joe Biden. Joe Biden's the Trojan horse to get her into the White House as president. She's never going to win presidency on her own. If Biden stepped aside now and she was the nominee, it's over. She can't do it on her own. She needs to ride this Trojan horse into the White House. And I'm telling you right now, a vote in this election for Joe Biden is a vote for Kamala Harris. Make no mistake. There is no way anybody with a reasonable brain can believe the man we saw last night can make it four years as president. There's just no way. Let's take a look at Harris's meltdown and let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, listen, people can debate on style points, but ultimately this election and who is the president of the United States has to be about substance. And the contrast is clear. Look at what happened during the course of the debate. Donald Trump lied over and over and over again, as he is wont to do. He would not disavow what happened on January 6th. He would not give a clear answer on whether he would stand by the election results this November. He went back and forth about where he stands on one of the most critical issues of freedom in America, which is the right of a woman to make decisions about their own body. He has been completely ambiguous and all over the place about where he stands on that issue, despite the fact that he hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And that's exactly what they did. And just three years ago, we commemorated the two-year anniversary of Dobbs, wherein women across our country have been denied emergency health care, well, have all that suffered may be miscarriages true. All that may to the be point true. that but the but president of the United States was important. not able to to put make that case to Donald Trump on the stage tonight. I mean, you debated against then Vice President Trump, uh, excuse me, Vice President Biden four years ago. And he was a very different person on the stage four years ago when when you debated him. You must. I mean, that that's certainly true, is it not? Anderson, the point has to be performance in terms of what a president does. A right, president but, but, but who incites an insurrection against the Capitol. No, no, but I, I got the point that you're making about a one and a half hour debate tonight. I'm talking about three and a half years of performance in work that has been ex historic. But Whether is that it be the man, the man who we the saw on the guy, stage the other tonight, guy, is that the, the person other guy you see on the in meetings every stage, day? The person that you saw on the debate stage that has, for the, the last three and a half years, up until today, performed in a way that has been about whether it be in the Oval Office, negotiating bipartisan deals so that we have an infrastructure, a real infrastructure plan where we're putting trillions of dollars on the streets of America to upgrade our infrastructure. Whether it be the person I see in the Oval Office who is meeting with heads of the military and the intelligence community and in the Situation Room, ensuring the safety of America, the person I see in Joe Biden on the world stage, convening world leaders who often ask for his advice, most recently just during the G7 conference. So I'm not going to spend all night with you talking about the last 90 minutes well, when I've been watching the last three and a half years of performance. But this was a debate that your campaign wanted. You pushed for this debate at this moment. Uh, obviously, I mean, you can't honestly say, I mean, can you say that you are not concerned at all having watched the president's performance tonight? Mm -hmm. 